Hi there, welcome to this video for Comp 1511 Assignment 2. This video is going to be a short one, just talking about this new Pokédex function and what the provided code actually does. So over here, I've got the code from Pokédex.c to provide you with this code for the new Pokédex function. I'm just going to step through what this code does. So the first line here, Pokédex, new Pokédex, equals malloc size of struct Pokédex. This makes us a variable called new Pokédex. And this is of type capital P Pokedex, which is a pointer to a Pokedex struct. It then says equals malloc size of struct Pokedex. So it asks malloc for enough memory to fit one of these Pokedex structs down here. Once malloc has given us this blob here that's big enough to fit one struct Pokedex, it asserts that new Pokedex is not null. So it just checks basically that we have been given some memory from malloc. So that malloc did manage to give us some memory. Because of course, if it hadn't given us memory, then we wouldn't be able to use it. Next, I've got a comment saying to add your own code here. So for stage one, you don't need to do anything here, but for the later stages of the assignment, especially stage three onwards, you'll want to think about adding some other code here to your Pokedex to keep track of some other things. Right now, this Pokedex struct that we've got down here just has one single field, the struct Pokenode star head field. That means that it's a pointer to a struct Pokenode, which means it's going to be a pointer to your linked list of Pokenodes. And so this is going to be the pointer to the start of that list to where it starts. So in the new Pokedex function, all it does is it sets it to be null because you don't have any Pokemon in your Pokedex. It's empty when you create it. And then it says return new Pokedex. And so this returns this pointer here, new Pokedex, to this blob of memory. And then all of your other functions in Pokedex.c then use this thing, this capital P Pokedex. And so they'll be referring to this one blob of memory here that you create in the new Pokedex function. And you'll be passing the same blob of memory around or the pointer to the same blob of memory around to all of your Pokedex functions that you call. So this is a really key thing to your code. The Pokedex is the way that you can access all of the things. So for example, this is the Pokedex from one of the other videos that I've made. It's a Pokedex showing a list of three different Pokemon, three different Pokenode structs that hold pointers to these Pokemon. So this Pokedex here, this struct Pokedex, corresponds to this struct here. And this is the thing that would have been returned from the new Pokedex function. It would have then been passed into the new Pokemon function, along with some of these Pokemon to add. And then they got added to the end of the list in the Pokedex. So added this one, this one, and this one, and so on. If you want to know more about this, you can have a look at some of the other videos where I've talked about how to create new Pokenodes and add them to your Pokedex. But that's it for now. Hopefully everything made sense. If you've got any questions, ask them on the forum, and otherwise I'll see you in my next video.